Today, I'm thrilled to share with you a beginner-friendly tutorial on how to crochet cozy spa socks, perfect for pampering those dry winter feet. After using your favorite lotion, slip them on before bed, and you'll be waking up to baby soft feet all winter long. Whether you're making them for yourself or as a thoughtful gift, these socks are sure to be a treat for your feet. And if you're not too keen on seaming, they're worked in the round, no seaming required. For this pattern, we'll need a soft polyester or microfiber yarn. And today I'm using Bernat Blanket. Any bulky weight chenille or blanket yarn will work. And you don't need much. For reference, this is my yarn ball after I crocheted both socks. So there's more than enough in one ball for a few pairs. And I'm also using a nine millimeter hook. We'll be working from the toe up, starting with a magic circle which I like to do by making a very loose slip knot. And then I'll chain one to kind of fasten on and I'll work my first stitch into the circle, a single crochet. I'll work another single crochet into the circle and we'll be doing a total of 10 single crochets here for the medium size. There are two sizes available for this pattern. With 10 single crochets, you can close up your magic circle. And we'll need to slip stitch into the first single crochet to complete the round. That takes care of the tippy tip of the toe. And now it's time to increase and set up the linen stitch spiral that we will be working for the rest of the sock. We'll chain one, which counts as your first single crochet. Then you're going to want to grab a stitch marker and mark that first chain to help keep track of your spiral, marking the first stitch of this round. Chain one and make one single crochet in the very next stitch. Again, chain one, single crochet in the next stitch. Continue chain one, one single crochet in the next stitch, all the way around until you've worked back to your first stitch. To start the next round, I'm going to skip that marked stitch and work my first single crochet of the next round into the chain space, just to the right of the marked stitch. Now that stitch I just made is the new first stitch of the round and I'll move my marker up to him. Now it's just a matter of continuing on in linen stitch with a chain one, skip the next single crochet and make one single crochet in the next chain space. Chain one, skip one, one single crochet in the next chain one space. This has got to be my favorite crochet stitch, by the way. I love how quick it is and how it creates a fabric that isn't too bulky or stiff. So I've worked back around to my marked stitch and again, I'll work into the chain next to it. and move my marker up, marking the first stitch of the new round that I'm working now. You'll continue on with your linen stitch in a spiral until your piece measures seven inches. For me, this was 11 rounds of linen stitch. Now it's time to create the opening in our sock. At the beginning of the next round, rather than working into the next chain space, I'm going to chain nine. That's including this chain one that I already have here as part of my linen stitch pattern. So I'm gonna make an additional eight chains. I'm gonna to come to the row below and including my marked single crochet, count five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. And into the chain space next to the fifth single crochet, I will work a single crochet right in there. 
closing this chain loop, and there's your little ankle opening. So now I'm just gonna continue on in linen stitch, chain one, one single crochet in the chain space, until I work back around to that chain nine that started the round. So there's the last single crochet from the previous round, and I'll chain one and work one single crochet in the first chain. Chain one, skip the next chain, and work one single crochet in the next chain. And when you do this across all nine chains, it'll kind of look like you've got an extra chain here, but that's actually all part of the next single crochet below, which you'll be skipping anyway to maintain our linen stitch pattern. So go ahead and chain one and work one single crochet in the next chain space. Now you've reset up our linen stitch pattern all the way around the sock and we'll finish up with the heel shortly, but first we'll work one more round of linen stitch. So I've done just that. You can see two rows of single crochets here after my chain. I'm about to work my last stitch of the round. I didn't mark it, but I can tell because the one below is the first single crochet worked into the ankle chain. So after I make that last single crochet, we'll start closing up the heel and I'll no longer be chaining between stitches. So without chaining, work one single crochet in the next chain space. Again, no chain, one single crochet in the next chain space. And after this round of single crochets, we'll cut our stitch count in half. You'll know you've worked all the way around when you run out of chain spaces to work into. And from here, I'll work a series of single crochet decreases by inserting my hook to pull up a loop, then inserting into the next stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook for a single crochet decrease. Across the next two stitches, again work a single crochet decrease. And continue decreasing around until you've run out of regular single crochets to work into. And you'll just have this tiny little hole in the back and you can kind of slip stitch here and there to close it up. Cut your yarn and close up any holes just a bit more as you weave in your tail. And now you have a cozy spa sock that worked up in no time at all. For those of you who made it all the way to the end of the tutorial, I just wanted to give you a little extra info that just might be good to know while you're making this pattern. The samples I made before and during the tutorial wound up being slightly different sizes. The tutorial sample turned out quite a bit looser and didn't fit exactly as perfectly as my first sample. And I was kind of tripping, like, did I actually use a nine millimeter in the first one? So I went to the couch and made another one later, focusing on keeping good tension with the nine millimeter hook. And it turned out tighter and more like my original sock. So just keep in mind, a little tension difference can be a big change in these socks because they're so chunky. So maybe make three and see which two out of the three are the best pair. They work up so fast, it's kind of worth it. So I hope you liked this pattern. You've definitely got time to make a couple as a gift. And I think if you paired them with a nice lotion or some spa themed items, it would be very special. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.